All right, all right. Welcome. Felicia Mohammed here, your spiritual life and business transformation specialist. And my partner and confidant hmm. and sister, Miss <laughs> yeah. Robin Chifa, Ali Albe Williams. <laughs> yeah, all of that. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So we have we're having a very spontaneous. Um, this is just like entrepreneurs, you know. We just think of stuff and let's do it. Right. All right. So we we are having a very spontaneous conversation today, discussing black women in finances and the men who love us. Now this is going to be a very deep and broad conversation we're going to be having because. Anytime you have any actions with us, welcome, 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 Solutions Turk. Anytime you have any conversations with us, we cover spirit, mind, body, family, finances, society, environment. Yeah, seven. And, yeah, that's seven, the seven octaves, mm -hmm. okay? Seven octaves, you may hear us speak of it as seven pillars, seven foundations, seven oh, octaves, a holistic approach to life because our understanding and knowing and experience is that your life is your business and business is your life and you have the ability to live it from a holistic perspective and you are always awakening the healer that is within you to help you to be able to have a more expansive and comprehensive view of being present right now with everything that you're dealing with. Okay. And she fast going to say it a little bit different in her way. All right. <laughs> yeah. But you know, in a nutshell, you know, what we do is we're talking about how everything, how we deal with everything all the time, all the time. So whether yes. it's your, your, your spirit, mind, body, family, finance, community or environment, you're in it, you're in it. So we need mm -hmm. to stop trying to separate it, you know, and try yes. to break it into all these different things because the the downfall that we have in life, quote unquote, is that we keep trying to live separately from spirit, mind, body, family, finance, community. You know, we keep trying to break it up into different little components and do a little here and do a little there. And that's why there's power in oneness and oneness right. as a lifestyle is what really brings it all together and it's a mindset it's happening it's, it's happening up here y'all you know what i'm saying it's like yeah I'm here and yeah. once you understand it that way it's here and then it broadens who we are from our heart it broadens who we are from our heart and it helps us to um to uh, to uh, to ascend i'm gonna use that kind of language with with, with us because we are absolutely in that time of higher consciousness on the planet where we have the opportunity to ascend, ascend how things have been been done and mm -hmm. do them in um, an accelerated pace and a higher level, a higher realm. And I talk about those, that higher realm in terms of frequency, vibration, and octaves. So that's uh, to give it to you in a framework that's where it's going to go okay that's where it's going to go um black women in finance and the men who love us <laughs> so um yes there are men who can love black women in finance we are um without us without us as the black women in finances the um, emasculating them. Thank you. Okay. Without yeah. us emasculating them. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Say that again, because without us emasculating them, mm -hmm. without the women uh, uh, being yeah, okay. the ones who are um, being more masculine than they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, because as women, we've had to be independent. We've had to be the mother and the father. We've had to be the one to make it happen. And we no longer, we can choose to no longer have that experience. I have 
Yes. I've mm-hmm. surrendered. I've surrendered the masculine energy that I was carrying um, and still wanting to to be my feminine self at the same time and still wanting to be respectful of my husband and my my companion. And when I began to shift, when I began to shift, when I began to shift, Mm -hmm. okay, Mm -hmm. the relationships Mm -hmm. that were destined and were on the same frequency at which I am now vibrating are showing up. And it ascends sexual relationships. That's right. It ascends the sexual relationships, Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And not to say that that is not included because it is. I mean, right now it's not. However, a part of the journey, that sexual energy is... um, is included and um and it's beautiful to be able to attract and i heard minister farrakhan say this in a video that the woman has a double duty (laughs) so when the woman sees a man that she's interested in okay she's being her feminine self and i'm putting it in my layman's terms and how i understood it she she's she's recognizing what attracted her to him and she's she's building on what she sees in him she's she's helping to nurture that within the man mm-hmm. okay she's not changing the man she's not making him be who she want him to be and all of that mm-hmm. she sees something that she was attracted to and now she is taking that nurturing god spirit that she has as a mother to be able to, and not his mother, but as a nurturer Mm -hmm. to be able to build up and help him to see the value of who he is in her eyes, which makes him feel much better and empowers him to go out and do what he knows he's capable and beyond of doing. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's the healthy mindset around it. Yeah. So healthy healthy spirit, healthy mind. All right. So I want to check in. So that we understand where we are in the frequency, what octave we talking about. So right now we're talking about <clears throat> healthy and, and I'm going to see how much of the octaves, right, we're in there. So we talked about healthy mind because I said it's happening up here first, right? Mm-hmm. So as, as, as black women in finance, we are, we are not tearing down the brothers. That starts mm-hmm. up here first. That means we're not listening to all that nonsense that's going on in the world about how, what women look like out there who want to bash the brothers, right? Bash the men. Mm -hmm. So we're not going there. Then on a spiritual tip, when we know who we are in our role in terms of who who the creator created us to be in our femininity and the power of that, right? So that now is our oneness in connection with the creator Right. Mm-hmm. And that having that understanding in our spirit, we're able to have the relationship. So let's scoot that on over to family. Right. And mm-hmm. community. So now mm-hmm. we're able to have the relationship with the men who love us in a way that is empowering, uplifting, fortifying, nurturing uh, mm-hmm. uh, all of the the things that help him to be the man that he was created to be. That's what we, mm-hmm. that's what we bring. That's what we give in family and community because now he's going to go into the community and turn it into the vision that we have that the community should be because mm-hmm. when you mentioned about it not being a, a sexual relationship. And so for me, it's not right now either. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> You know, however, um, I'm 58 years old, so you can best be assured that I've had some sexual relationships, right? So I added <laughs> <laughs> it twisted. Right? So, so what we're talking about here is now you said that it's not necessarily um, sexual, but when you have the, the men who do who love us, they hear and see our vision. Mm-hmm. And we're able to have a 
mental intercourse, Mm -hmm. something from the heart space, Mm -hmm. heart to heart, where we can create in the same space and manifest and make things happen, which, which controls the environment around us and brings us right back through as we, as we raise it up, as we raise it up. So black women in finance and the men who love us. This is a this is a mother sister movement, right? To bring into our centeredness, that oneness that we are, right? Into that centeredness, the ability to have healthy finances mm-hmm. and to create a culture where we have uh, assets, where we accumulate wealth. Mm-hmm. where we are creating a culture of knowing how to do that. And because we as women are the ones who rock the cradle, right? We're the first teachers, mm-hmm. uh, everybody coming up, right? Inside right. the womb. So inside the carrying in the sack for, of water for nine mm-hmm. months, you know, we are raising that up. And so when we come with this consciousness, that's what we do. That's what we do. And so, that's what the love relationship really is about. And the love is the hub of everything we're talking about because you can't raise the vibration, the frequency, the octave. You cannot do it without love because that is the only power happening. Okay. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And, and let me just take a moment. Let me just calm down and get grounded. Mm. Mm. Okay, yes. And with that being said, you create and co-create an environment in such that you begin to know what the next person is thinking. Mm. You begin to um make love from that mental and that heart space. Yeah. And then when you physically come together, it's just like, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's those endorphins that's created that helps the body. Now we're dealing with the body piece. It helps the body to now begin to Communicate, sending out the good signals and 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 annihilating those radicals, those free radicals that are just acting crazy. <laughs> those those um, give it to me, she fair. Those um, so those the, cancerous cells yeah, that we cells, all have yeah. within mm-hmm. us, those cancerous cells, rebellion cells that we have in us that serve a purpose. Okay, because they're there for a reason. They serve a purpose. And when the environment becomes toxic because you're emasculating your man and then your man wants to talk to you like another dude on the street Mm -hmm. because that's how you coming at him. And then the inner environment of the inner game gets all toxic. And now the cancer cells can go crazy. And now in your breast, you're developing this resentment. You're developing this lack of nurturing. And so since now that environment is there, you have now set up the perfect environment for breast cancer to develop. Yo, you know, it's like... um... (laughs) When you talk, when I'm listening to you say that and recognizing, because now we're talking about the body, right? That yes. The, you kind of the body up. is mostly okay. water. Uh, information on how water transforms based on the vibration mm. that it's receiving, that its own uh, either. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, sacred geometry or the negativity of what oh, we lost her. Okay. So she was talking about the sacred, ge- sacred geometry or the negativity of what's happening in the cells, the communication of the cells at the cellular level. So, you know, the experiment that he wrote, oh, I forgot his name. Uh, Hiroshiti, but anyway, he put words on water, and just from the vibration of the words, 
that was on the water, you could see how it changed the formation of the clusters in the water. Okay, welcome Chris P519. You can see how it changed it. Okay, and so that is the power of the words that you speak and the frequencies because each letter of the alphabet vibrates at a frequency. So when you are using lower vibrational language, then it's not serving you and it's actually setting up more a lower frequency to whereas disease dis-ease is now able to um now has a better environment to grow up out of versus a higher octave vibration of frequency and language to whereas no matter what uh, comes against you, even in your thought processes, you're so accustomed to operating out of this high frequency vibration that you're fortified and you have enough stamina to be able to ward off that negative impact. Okay, so she's coming back in. Accept. Very good. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about that that body and 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 that body connection, you know, and the effects that the the thoughts, the the words that we use the frequency at which we choose to engage in our own inner dialogue and with others, okay? So energy, and we're, we're both healers, you know, uh, we specialize in, I specialize in helping people uh, release the baggage that's keeping them stuck in love, health, and wealth, and helping people to know how to awaken the body's ability to self-heal and served and have worked as a hairstylist for the last 25 years, helping us to know how people of all texture, hair textures, helping us to know that what you put in your mouth affects your hair. Okay. So again, it's a holistic approach, wellness head to toe, inside out. And she said, you may have to, cause it's just, I've accepted it, but it's not, it's just vibrating. You know, it's not letting you come in yet. Um, so try to refresh if you can hear me. Try to refresh because if I go out, we may have to start all over. All right, one moment. 